Good afternoon, John here. Coming to you from Anza Borrego State Park. We just were in the Sheep King and Primitive Campground. It was packed. Uh, there's a bunch of folks out here. Lots of Tacomas, lots of Jeeps. Uh, so far I'm the only full-size truck. Trying something different here. Have the uh, GoPro mount. It's an elastic strap that goes on your head. Uh, I was digging through all of the stuff I've had forever and there it was. And I was watching a channel called uh, Trucking with Schmidt and he tried it the other day. And uh, it was interesting because you sort of can see what he's looking at. And it's not a fixed mount and you're not holding it in your hand. Uh, I know that I'm going to have to uh, practice with this bit because one of his comments was not moving your head too fast. Anyways, uh, we're tooling along here. It is a quarter to five. You can see that I have my Garmin inReach because I sent a text message from my phone that's Bluetoothed to the inReach to a couple of my buddies to let them know where I'm at. Another use for it, non-emergency. I send that text message through the phone. It Bluetooths to the inReach. It sends them my text message. They can respond. It also sends them a pinpoint on a map, sends a link. I also have a, a new little radio here in case I run into any groups out here overlanding. I can... Uh, talk to them on FRS or uh, GMRS I guess I need to get one of them licenses the GMRS license is dropping uh, to, from 70 bucks for 10 years I think 35 or something like that in July uh, so I'm gonna hold off and just be a renegade Anyways, uh, we're gonna play around with using this this mount and see if it does a better job. I know it's more fun to have the camera attach the fender, staring at the tires. I haven't been brave enough to attach the camera underneath the truck yet. I suppose that's coming. You know, I bought this Hero 4 a bazillion years ago on sale at Costco in Clarkston, Washington on a whim. So if it got damaged, it's not going to be the end of the world. So I might try that. I had one viewer comment that on my, I think it was my snow video, that my camera placements, camera mounts were not pre-planned. And you know, that's absolutely correct because I went out there and it's like, okay, we're gonna play with the suction cup mount. Where can we stick it? Oh, we can stick it here on the back. We can stick it on the front. Uh, just kind of random. So that's a really good comment that if I am going to come out and shoot video that, you know, I really should think about these things in advance as to, okay, I want to get this cool shot. You notice... I have the mirrors folded in so I don't hit them on the vegetation. <laughs> and also, I folded this mirror up so you guys can't see how stupid I look. 
uh, with the camera stuck to my head. Uh, it hopefully this comes out right. If not, and you don't see it, that means that it was horrible, and I erased it and started over. I'm also using my $11 mic, and I have the window down, and there's a, a little breeze. I really should get out of the truck since there is a breeze and walk around and uh, let's see if it works like it did at home. Oh, here comes a Jeep. He's gonna see me with this camera on my head and think, what a goober. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying this point of view. It's adding a new element <laughs> to <laughs> my use of a GoPro and using it on uh, YouTube. This works. Uh, I was just playing with the camera a few minutes ago, had it set to a wide view, which I normally have it set at, and I think that was a bit wide. We're trying it on narrow. I have my $11 mic that I bought from Amazon Warehouse used. The wind is blowing. We're going to see how that works and how this point of view from my head is. I know from playing with cameras in the past, uh, the one thing that I do have to get accustomed to is panning my head slow, which if I'm driving, I can't, I can't think about that because it's more about safely operating a motor vehicle. I wonder if I should take the power wagon through here. I suppose I could. Just gotta watch these rocks. Uh, this is just a beautiful place. The last time I was here was uh, years ago with Ramblin' Russell and we were in the Rubicons. It was a lot warmer. The weather's really, really nice. Uh, I did go to the Sheep Canyon Primitive Campground a few minutes ago. And uh, all the little sites were completely full up. Filled with Tacomas. Uh, boy, I, <laughs> even though I've owned one for five years, I didn't realize how popular they were in the overlanding world. But uh, a gaggle of Tacomas and Rubicons. Uh, of course, I was the only full-size truck um, back in here. And of course, the only power wagon. Uh, we're gonna spend the night back in here somewhere, find myself a little place to tuck in and use the Snug Top Rebel. <laughs> 